welcome back to the channel. Now, if you know me, you know two things about me. Number one, I'm six foot one. And number two, I bloody love Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbos. And I'm now very happy to announce that I have my very own Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo that has been gifted to me. Yes, gifted to me by Ant. We're an Italian car specialist and I specialize in Fiat Coupes. This one, when it came in, it was a running car with an MOT. The ones that don't need braking, I'll try not to brake. I said, Alex, I've got a Fiat Coupe. Do you want it? And you got back in touch with me. Indeed, and here we are. So this is now officially my Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo. Uh, the mileage on this, mm. correct me if I'm wrong, 204,000 miles. Yep. Is that uncommon, unheard of for one of these cars? Well, my one's got 217,000 miles and it's going strong. So what we're gonna do today is have a quick walk around my, it's amazing, my Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo figure out what needs to be done, because obviously it is a bit of a restoration project. One person's got to hold it up All right. in the air. I will be the holder of the gas straps. All right then, okay. How much do you trust me? I trust you. You're Italian, I'm German. We shouldn't be friends. Oh, you're German? I'm, I'm, oh, sorry. Oi, shut up. So our standard, these are what, 220 horsepower? 220. And we're going to find out yeah. if this actually still has 220, because you've got a dyno. Yes. No, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> That was it. A little bit, a little bit smoky, yeah. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh. Is this a better exhaust note than my V6 MX-5? What? Why do you sound so confident when you say that? Yours is a bit muted, mate. I know it is, isn't it? <laughs> so we possibly need to change the turbo. Yeah. Okay. Interior, let's have a quick look. I think it's magnificent and I love the seats. It looks super comfortable. The oil bar pressure is really good. Oh, okay. So we've got a healthy engine. Yeah. So the service history is probably going to be quite good, yeah, which we have good. there. Let's have a look. There's the. Oh, and Alex, you've yeah. got all three keys there. Shut up. All right, service stamps. Carried out in 1997, 98 at 4000. Oh, wow. 51, 60. 75, 90, cam belt and auxiliary belt done at 90. 114, 119. There is so much stuff yeah. with this car, so much history. Shall we have a quick drive up and down the road and then see what's good about it, what's bad about it, and just see if I gel with the car. I will gel with the car. Oh, sounds so much better than Phil. That's so depressing considering that Phil is a 230,000 pound supercar. Anyway, let's pump up the tyre and then go for a quick blast up and down the road. Transition. Right, so before Ant and I go for a drive and find out how broken this poor car is, I want to tell you guys about this week's video sponsor, Phantom Wallet. As you know, I've been using my Phantom X for a couple of months and there is literally nothing I don't like about it. Now, the cool thing about these wallets is that they're super small. They are made in Canada. This one is made out of carbon fibre and it's got my favourite feature, pow-pow flip action. That means that you can get to your cards super quickly. You can also get these wallets in three different sizes and three different finishes. As well as being able to choose from a variety of cool accessories, including coin holders, cash holders, ID holders and more. And if you like the look of one of these, then use the code AUTOALEX at checkout to get not 10, not 20, but 30% off your order. So go use the code and check it out. All right, and this is, wow. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Look your, at that. Your top's gonna get dirty. Oh, yeah. oh, we need to think of a name. Fabrizio. Fabrizio. Should yeah. we call him Fab? Yeah, let's call him All Fab. All right, let's go, go out in Fab, the Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo. <laughs> My Fiat Coupe 20 valve turbo. Shit, me. Oh, that's pretty quick. So are we thinking we've got a bit of a tune on here? Yeah, I think so, because that's not normal. No. That's amazing. Engine sounds lovely. The exhaust rasp is just magnifico. You know when I got it? Yeah. I didn't even take it out because I thought, well, it's going to go to Coop Heaven. Yeah. There was no need. So it's amazing that because you spoke to me, we've now been able to save Fab yep. from Coop Heaven. Yes. Oh, I've lost that. Uh, I've lost the clutch pedal. Oh. Oh, there we go. I've got it back now. <laughs> All right. Wow. If you're impressed. Yeah, well, I'm grabbing the handle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and it goes, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. There are obviously a few things that need to be done to Fab. Yeah. Um, but that's what we're going to do together, isn't yeah. it? We're going to do a restoration and we're going to show you guys that these cars need love and that they can be reliable if you look after them because definitely 204,000 miles you're driving one now with 217 you think it's a good one right yeah I do if you really like the look of these then you really really like the look of them don't you oh, especially their stash I know it's just great Pininfarina there yeah. you know really historic German designer it's just it's just <laughs> great you know hey so we have a very strong base to start with yeah, don't we really good Before we do a walk around, there are a couple of quite interesting cars behind me. Namely, Roy, if you look down that way, there is my E46 330i <laughs> Touring. And there, there, there is a garish yellow one and a very garish red one over there as well. We can't forget this. Oh, okay. What is it? It's a Fiat Uno. A Fiat Uno Turbo. Is it? Yeah. That's a bit more special, isn't it? So, yes. should we start with this? How long have you had it? What's the story behind it? This will be the third year this year. I had to go all the way up to Yarmouth on a Saturday morning with John Paul. And the minute he opened his garage doors and I saw this, I was like, wow, it's done 35,000 miles. So this is very special to you, isn't it? This is, yeah. Will you ever sell it? Not this, no. How much do you want for it? And then we have this. It was locked down mm -hmm. and I was bored and I was at home. So instead of having a child, you bought yourself a Ferrari. This is a child. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the second owner on it and the previous owner i think he was having some financial difficulties and i think he had to just sell his assets quick so uh, Anne, yeah do you want to explain to the lovely ladies and gentlemen that you have a youtube channel mm -hmm. and what we're going to be doing with this on your channel so once you've watched this video you'll go straight over to the auto sportivo channel and then what will they watch, Ant? Oh, God, they're all pestering what, what me. What will they watch? They want me to put this on the dyno so you guys can see it blow up. Head over to the Autosportivo YouTube channel, click subscribe as well, and I'm sure you're gonna like what you're gonna see, because I'm gonna drain all the oil. Anyway, shall we have a look at mm. Fabrizio, Fabrizio, and we'll tell you guys what to look out for when buying the do's and the don'ts of these cars, because they're actually not as shit as everyone says they are. Let's head over with that transition. Wait, 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 no. wait, wait. No. Yeah! All right, so Anne, um, what do you say we get started with the bodywork? Down here, they like to rust all along there. But this looks all right. Very good, very nice. You've got some bonnet sponges there missing. They like to hold water in there. So you get corrosion on the inner arches here. They like to go down there as well. But this Pinaferina badge, it's got two little holes behind the badge. And what happens is over the years, water gets in there, sits all the bottom there, and all this corrodes as well. With my donor cars, if this section's good, I cut this out, this section, and I sell them to people. Around here as well, yep. they really go. In here, see if you lift that. Yep. So basically water gets in and it likes to sit all in there. Mm -hmm. Now that's pretty, really good. Yeah. If you see some of the coops that come in, all that is all rotten as well. That's good. Because see that grommet there? Yeah. They seem to they go and water gets in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, which yeah. I'm really surprised. Oh, amazing. Shall we have a look at the business end? And I think this is probably the thing that most people are most scared of because, yep. I mean, it's a big lump and there isn't a lot of space, is there? But again, 204,000 miles. 217,000 miles. Don't be put off with a high mileage one. It's turbos, clutches, manifold, gaskets, alternators. So you've pretty much just pinpointed everything that's wrong with this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a big thing on the forums. Oh, the coolant hose of death. Has it been done? In my time, yeah. I've never seen one go. In one, one... And you've seen one or two of these cars, haven't you? Bloody hell, yeah. So what would you say to everyone watching who's thinking oh no but they are unreliable i don't want to touch it mm. well you know what, what speak to them tell them they're the not truth. they're not unreliable if some of your um, subscribers are like oh good they want to go and view one and need some advice 
Just give us a call. Nice. Take me with you on the phone and I'll say, look here, look there. Other things are auxiliary belts. I've had a fair few where these auxiliary belts have snapped. Mm -hmm. If these snap and you're unlucky, it will take the cam belt out. There are specialists out there, coupe specialists, who have created like a guard okay. to prevent that from happening. Okay, cool. Shall we get the car in the air yep. and have a proper nose underneath? Oh, cool, look. What's that? So basically, these are like, the people call them Eiffel Towers, and these are always corrode and rot. But I mean, for a car that's done over 200,000 miles and they're still intact, it's brilliant. If you had an under tray, there's a bolt that goes through there. Okay, so it's very through. rare to see one, yeah. not only with one, but with both Two. intact. So everything is pretty much covered in oil. So where's all that oil coming from? I saw earlier you had a bad rocker cover gasket leak, mm -hmm. which I ordered you one in. But again, like, see these brackets? Normally these are broken or not yeah. there, and that's all there. Lower arms, they can suffer. So for corrosion, I've seen a lot of coots where they go in here, and yours, is really good too. All the brake lines look brake good. Brake lines, right, okay. These have been done too. No way. Look at that. Oh. Another job no, it doesn't need doing. These straps, they break as well, but yours look good. Um, look, that's got to be the first as well. I've got the i4 towers at the back. Yeah, you have. And we've got a dirty great big exhaust, which obviously isn't standard. Yes. I love it. I love a filthy exhaust. Yes. An exhaust you can fist is an exhaust I've got time for. So, and now that you've said it are you annoyed that you gave this away for free? No, it's gone to a good German. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, we are bridging German-Italian relations. We are simpatico. <laughs> anyway, should we do something, something really exciting now? What's that? Take our clothes off. Shall we put Fabrizio on the dyno? Yeah. Let's, see what's um, let's change his oil and spark plugs as they're waiting to go in and then whack on the dyno. What do you reckon? Okay, so 220 factory. Yeah. It didn't feel like 220. I think it's no. been fiddled with a little bit. I'm going to say 223. I'm going to go for um, 227. I definitely picked the right car then. Yeah, you did, yeah. Holy wow. shit. With a stonking first run now under Fabrizio's belt, let's do a rerun to see if things improve further or find out if the engine will blow. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me four grand and it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is now the end of the day at Otto Sportivo. Bapadi. Fabrizio has done me slash us proud. How are you feeling? I feel happy and sad. Yeah, why do you feel sad? I feel sad because I've given you a real good car. I know. And I feel s happy. Because you've given me a really good car. Yeah. And you're a good person, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so uh, we have a little bit of work to do on uh, Fabrizio, which we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. If you like this car and if you like the content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and do all of that. In the meantime, you also now, now want to be going over to the Autosportivo YouTube channel because behind Rory, the cameraman, is your Challenge Stradale. Once we've got Fab off, we're going to be putting that MR2 shitbox on. And then we're going to dyno test it, okay? So this is going to be a very, very interesting one. So make sure you check it out, subscribe to their channel as well. Uh, from me, 
From Anne, from everyone at Auto Sportivo, ciao bello, ciao bella. Ciao bella. Okay, and with that, yes. transition. Uh, ah, get him! Get him! <laughs> <laughs>